Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I am here with another small shop haul. I have a playlist of these on my channel and they're one of my favorite kinds of videos to do and it's where I just showcase and open up a bunch of recent purchases from small shops in the community. So you'll find all of these shops linked below as well as their socials which following them on, you know, Etsy or Facebook or Instagram or whatnot are, that's a really good way to uh, support a small shop. If you're, even if you're not looking to make a purchase at this time, it lets you stay up to date with new releases and what they've got going on and all that. Uh, so yeah, I just, I feel like small shops are the backbone of the community and I am excited to get into a bunch of diamond painting goodies today, including a couple of new to me shops, which I'm just, yeah, I'm really excited. We have lots of pens, um, some trays and putties and just lots of good stuff today. So I like to start when I think of it with the shops that are new to me. And like I said, I have two in this video. So let me just move a couple of things out of the way here and let's grab this one. So this package is from Yellow Dog Designs and I am particularly excited to open up this one because let me tell you how much I have been seeing the shop mentioned. Um, in various you know, Facebook groups or whatnot, when people ask like, oh, what are your favorite diamond painting trays? Um, invariably, this shop gets mentioned pretty often. And so they are based in Canada. And I, I placed this order, I think back in November with small shop hauls. I tend to have packages that sit for a little while before I get around to them. And the holidays kind of threw a wrench in things. But I do have these, um, and these two trays, I decided to try out a couple of different trays, a couple of different styles that they have. And yeah, I'm excited to get into it and I'll tell you about them. So, and of course I will be using these in an upcoming uh, whip and chat so I can kind of give my feedback on what it's like to work, work on and with them. So, okay, I was just checking the package real quick. So this first one, you guys, oh my gosh, look at that effect of that lid. This is the rectangular diamond painting tray, polychromatic, and the color is red, gold, purple. And I did get it with the full lid in Starburst, it says. Uh, so the lid, yeah, just pops right off. Oh, cute. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so it says made with love. They are based in Canada, like I said. Oh, that's a cute logo, you guys. Uh, how much was shipping? Okay, shipping, it looks like, was around $10 US for these two trays. Uh, but you know what, international shipping, that might actually be on the low side for international shipping, so not bad at all. Okay, this lid is really, really pretty. I like this color scheme. It has like a nice weight to it. It looks really nice and clean. Oh, it says Yellow Dog Designs on the end. I think I've seen people post that they do customizable trays as well, maybe on the lid. So it does come with a stopper too. So I'm really looking forward to testing out these trays, you guys. Like I said, I've heard a lot about them. This just looks really pretty. Looks really, really pretty. So I got one in that style, which was just, like I said, the rectangular diamond painting tray. And then I was intrigued by this. This is the ergonomic diamond painting tray. And I did not get the lid with this one, but you were able to say like, uh, which hand you're going to be holding it in and which way you want the spout up. So I'm guessing you'd hold it like this. Yeah, you would have to, right? <laughs> uh, so it is ergonomic. So like, you know, if you, I think especially if you paint on diamond paint on a, um, on a tilted surface and you're finding yourself holding your tray a lot, then this could be a nice like ergonomic option. It does feel comfortable in my hand actually, the way it kind of supports the curve and everything. So I typically paint just with my tray flat on the on the table, but I will try this out. Uh, the color on this one is shimmer purple and it also comes with a stopper. So it's, it's, it's hard to tell exactly how a tray is going to work for me until I actually start putting diamonds in it and see how well they line up and whatnot. But these look good, you guys. And like I said, heard a lot about them so I'm very intrigued so two trays from yellow dog designs and yeah that's the first new to me shop in this particular video uh, now the next new to me shop is um, this is from creations Moran which are they also Canada based yes they are <laughs> so a lot of I guess Canadian small shops here um, I've heard my Canadian crafter friends comment that it is often cheaper to ship from Canada to the US than it is 
from one place to another within Canada, which is kind of wild. Uh, but I will see if this one lists the shipping costs as well, just so I can give a sense uh, if you are in um, the US like I am. Okay, my invoice is not in here, but here we go. Here is their, uh, oh, nice to scan me, uh, their business card. And yes, it says happy holidays. I did order this in end of November. I think this was a Black Friday weekend purchase. Um, here's some tips for the putty. And you guys, whether or not a putty is gonna work for you really is gonna depend highly on your climate and your style of diamond painting. I frequently say that if you're trying out a putty uh, and it's just not working, try another one and maybe it'll it'll do the trick. So they did send this cute little freebie. Again, this was sent over the holidays. And these are the two scents that I chose to get. I got Salted Caramel and Peppermint Swirl. They came in this packaging. Let me show you. Let's take a look. This one's a Salted Caramel. It's in between this release paper. So there's our square of putty there. Ooh, it does smell really good. It's not overpowering at all. Not overpowering at all. It's a nice subtle scent. And it feels like it's kind of a, a thicker putty too. And then the peppermint swirl, oops. Take a look here. This one, ooh, look at that pretty, pretty color added and pattern. Ooh, that one just smells like a candy cane. <laughs> it looks like one too. So I, like I said, I'm gonna, I like to test out new products in my whip and chats. And so I am very much looking forward to trying these out in an upcoming whip and chat. So yay. All right. Now this next one, this is kind of diamond painting adjacent. This is, I think a new to me shop. Have I bought from them before? I don't remember. This is from Dean Draws Heroes. And I believe I ordered some, oh man, this was a long time ago too. Um, some pins that I have the intention of converting into a cover minder, into cover minders for a custom that I have. And they just, you guys, if you are a nerd like I am, uh, particularly, I don't know, for fandoms like Supernatural, hence the name Dean Draws, uh, this could be a fun shop to check out. I enjoy following them on Instagram and they're always doing really cute and fun things. Sorry, I opened it and my address was right there. So um, it came with this and this is a freebie sticker. <laughs> Good and loser, we're going hunting. Supernatural reference. Uh, this is a freebie as well. Is that Black Panther? That's fun. And then I got a couple of different pins. These are a couple of characters from Supernatural. These are, oh my gosh, these are way bigger than I realized, you guys. I thought these were so much smaller. I did not, <laughs> I did not realize these were like the size of my palm. I thought these were gonna be much smaller. So this is way, way, way more than I bargained for. Uh, so this is Castiel and Gabriel and I, those are huge. Oh my gosh, not what I expected. <laughs> Here's some stickers. Oh, and this is the this is their art actually, the Dean Draws art. That's so funny. And then there's pumpkin. And then I got this. Okay, the mild minor language morning here. More morning here. Uh, there is a set of keychains here, and I think I'm gonna convert these into cover minders too. Uh, so. <laughs> these are just these like chibi versions of these different characters with some of their their known quotes <laughs> so that's really fun i think maybe oh it is it is reversible okay i might still clip the keychain off and put a magnet on one side and then have these be minders these are slightly more reasonable in size to be a cover minder <laughs> but oh the supernatural fan stuff it's just it gives me too much joy my custom is of some supernatural fan art that i got permission to work on by the artist as a custom. And I'm thinking I wanna complete it and take it with me to the Supernatural convention I'm going to in March, but we'll see. Okay, so next up you guys, um, I have a couple of waxes to show you and putties. And this one is already open because it had some Christmas gifts in it. And but I did get some things for myself when I placed this order. This is from Randa's Crafty Corner, which has been my go-to for putty for years i of course love trying out small shops uh but randa's crafty corner just feels like it's an old reliable it's good stuff and it's one that i regularly point people to to try out if you're new to trying out putty randa's crafty corner is just one of those putties that tends to work well for a lot of people so anyway here are some freebies that's really cute 
And then these are the scents that I picked up for myself in this order. So Cafe Mocha and Sweater Weather. Let's take a little sniff. And she doesn't color or tint the, the putties at all, but I like the scent she does. Oh my gosh, yeah, okay. That smells really cozy and really nice. Um, and then the Cafe Mocha. Who doesn't love a coffee smell? I mean, really. <laughs> Give it a sniff. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's not overpowering either. It's def it definitely smells like a mocha though. So yay for a few more putties to add to my collection. Those are from Randa's Crafty Corner. I do have a wax here to share with you guys. This is from We Wax and it's Tate on here, November. I bought this back in November and I am not sure if she is still actively doing new releases. I would suggest following We Wax on Instagram and the, the owner of it is actually also a lovely creator here on YouTube and a friend of mine. This is uh, from Laura, Anxiety Art Adventures. Uh, so I would just suggest following her socials for the most up-to-date information about new release plans and whatnot. So um, I got this one. This is going to be the scent Winter Woods and I think was one of those drops that week. She includes some freebies, <laughs> little squishy. My kids are totally gonna steal the gummy bears and really gum the squishy too. And then everything has been packed in here. A little extra protection with the bubble wrap. And oh my goodness. The last time that I had a cow tail had to have been like 15 years ago in high school. Wow, talk about a core memory unlocked. I didn't even know that they still sold cowtails. What in the world? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Do you guys, have you had cowtails? Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, some tea and then some cute stickers. Oh, she has kitties, so that's really fun to see cats. <laughs> and then here is the business card, We Wax Crafts. Laura Anxiety Art Adventures on the website. They did move off Etsy. And then they do different colored tins too. So this is a nice like pale green winter woods. Oh my gosh. It smells like pine and other goodness. That smells so nice, but it's not an overpowering chemical scent at all. And that's one of the things I love about Wee Wax is that I, it just, it's a nice, light fragrance but I also I like when I'm using it I will just leave it sitting out with the cap off and I just get light little whiffs of it I like to use this in my single placer and you scrape at it and it does last a good amount of time I really enjoy really enjoy using wee wax so this is in the scent winter woods and is my latest wee wax order so um next up you guys I have okay let me explain this one <laughs> So I do have a pen here and this, I had to open up the package, but I haven't actually looked at the pen yet. Um, there was just a thing where the box got wet <laughs> and so I wanted to save the pen, but I thought as long as everything inside is dry, I will still keep it wrapped in the tissue paper and I can still kind of unbox it and have it be a reveal. This is one of three packages I have from Swampwood Products to share with you. Uh, some of these other Swampwoods I bought like at the beginning of November. So I just I have to get to these and share them with you. This one is my more recent order though, and is from one of the first rounds of custom orders that Swampwood offered. I will tell you right now, I did not get any special treatment whatsoever. I was on that website refreshing like mad with all of you and had to just hope that I was lucky enough to be fast enough to get a spot. And I did sna actually snagged two. I don't know how that miraculously came through, but it did. Um, and I just, I yeah, it, it happened. So this is the first one of those custom orders. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to share it with you. I don't know the next time he's gonna open up for customs. The best suggestion I have is to follow Swampwood on Instagram because that is where he tends to post all of his announcements related to the shop. So here is a note from Seth as the owner of Swampwood. And uh, yeah, it was, it was fun to really work through this concept with him and I'm excited for it, you guys. So oh, it came with a resin ornament so pretty and then so I I was kind of thinking about sort of gaps in my in my pen stash and thinking through some like pretty color combos I could see him doing and 
I ended up saying I liked the idea of red and gold. Oh my gosh. And isn't that just delightfully festive and gorgeous? When you do the custom, you do get to pick the shape that you want, the turning that you want. Um, and I just said I love the idea of red with some gold flakes. I feel like the colors are really appropriate for the Lunar New Year coming up as well. But just, oh my gosh absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love how it turned out and I love the sparkle in the red part as well. So yay. I am excited. I, I hope that he opens up for customs again at some point, but of course it is hard to know when that's going to happen. He is just one person. He's just a small shop and I'm sure that when he is able and if this is something he wants to continue doing that we'll see him, you know, reopen for customs again at some point. I'm going to save the other two swamp woods for, for last. I'd like to get to this butterfly effect wears pen, which again is from a little while ago. Uh, butterfly effect wears does weekly releases. The releases themselves are on Saturdays and um, they sell out really fast. Um, I like their process though, where they, they sort of share the the blanks and the, and the progress on them throughout the week. They usually share the blank itself. I think on Sunday or Monday and they show a couple of them turned and then they do a full reveal of all of the various pens with their turnings and you can you know kind of decide like okay this is the one I want to try to go for um and you know I miss as often as I snag them uh but I I really love their pens a lot and they also will do usually coordinating putty with it and I almost always add it on because I do like their putty and it's cheaper when you do it as an add-on as opposed to buying the putty separately. So this is the Sugar Plum Fairy Dot Dot Putty and some freebies. And take a look at this pen. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. The pinks and the golds. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is one of their regular turning style pens. That's the thickness that I like to go for from their shop. And oh, those details, the sparkle, so good. They do a really smooth and shiny polish as well. Love their pens, very ergonomic, very comfortable. And uh, yeah, they're good ones, you guys. So definitely follow along with their socials. They have Facebook and Instagram. And those are the best ways to stay up to date with their releases, so yay. Okay, let me make just a little bit of space over here and I can show you. I have two more boxes from Swampwood to share with you today. And this one, I feel, I feel really bad because it is from, it says November 13th is when this shipped out. So this has been sitting for a while. <laughs> And uh, I honestly, I couldn't tell you what the pen is that's in here. I'm pretty sure that one of these boxes has a Christmas pen in it. Like, <laughs> that's an, I'm pretty sure it's red and green. But I don't remember if that's going to be this one or, oh, there it is. I'm like, where's the other side to open? I don't know if that's going to be this box or the other one. So either way, one of them is going to have a surprise for me. <laughs> it's because I don't remember what the pen was. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is a rose gold shatter pen. Okay. Your other pen is such a perfect vibe. Excellent choices as always. Rose gold shatter. Nice. Okay. Like I'm kind of remembering it now, I think. Because <laughs> if I saw rose gold, I'm sure that I was all over it again, setting my alarm. Ooh, I got two pens this drop. I got lucky. Okay. This is a delightful surprise. So, um, this one is, I think, going to be the rose gold shatter. That is too funny. Um, I'm telling you, I'm there setting my alarms for shop drops like you guys are. <gasps> Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> okay, rose gold is completely my vibe. This is unbelievably stunning. <laughs> I love, 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 love how this turned out. And wow. Yep. Nope. That is, that is gorgeous perfection. Okay, and this other one, that's right, I see blue and white. And this was one that I just, I don't have anything like it in my collection. And so I, I leapt on it and I can't believe I snagged both of these in one drop. Okay, so we've got blue and white. 
And I love, love, love that sparkle on the top. I know there's a little bit of this like blue right here, but that just, I think, adds to its character and the craft, the sort of individual craftsmanship that goes into these. Love that. Again, nothing like it in my pen stash. So it's gonna fill a gap beautifully. Yay, all right, we just have one package left. It is also from Swampwood and I think that this one might be a Christmassy one. I think this one might be a red and green one, but we will see if my memory is serving me or not. And may your jingle drills time be filled with joy and holiday cheer. I hope this pen matching ornament complement your holiday season. So obviously we are out of the holiday season at this point, but I will happily save these to use next year in the holiday season because they're not going anywhere. My diamond painting isn't going anywhere. <laughs> yep, this is a holiday one. So we got another matching ornament with this one. So pretty. And then here is the pen. This is a little bit of an impulse buy. I thought, do I really need one? But I went for it. So we've got the red and the green, and I love the alternating red and green crystals in this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep, this is gonna be an absolute must for <laughs> next holiday season. So yay, here is this small shop haul in this particular video. Lots of swamp wood pens in this one. We've got a pretty butterfly effect wears pen as well. I am really excited to be trying out some new shops, you guys. These yellow dog designs trays here. Cannot tell you how excited I am to get to try those out. And this new, new to me shop, this putty from uh, Creations Moren. Both of these are Canadian shops. And then Dean Draws is, I think they're US based. And then Butterfly Effect Wears and Swamp Wood and whatnot, those are US based as well. Of course, we got Wee Wax and Randa's Crafty Corner. Lots of fun and wonderful stuff in this small shop haul. So, like I said, please take a look below in the description box where I will have these all linked for you to check out if you want to go do some shopping and show some love to these small shop owners. Keep in mind that sometimes there is a longer turnaround time, especially for custom made products, and that's because these aren't big businesses. These are often just one or two people that are working to create these beautiful products for us and just make our diamond painting experience that much more enjoyable. So I just like to, to give a gentle reminder to be patient and kind always. But with that said, I'm gonna let you go. Let me know if you have any small shops that you would like me to check out. I'd be more than happy to make a purchase. I love supporting small shop owners. And if nothing else, I can follow and favorite uh, so that I can stay up to date. And if something didn't catch my eye this time, then hopefully I will catch them in the future. Like I mentioned, I do have a small shop haul playlist where I have unboxed a very wide variety of small shops uh, here on my channel. So if you would like to see past accessories that I have bought and tried out, I will point you to that playlist and you guys, happy shopping. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with my diamond painting content, which includes some more small shop hauls like this one and unboxings and reviews and whatnot. If you wanna see me test out these products in my next whip and chat, um, yeah, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Otherwise, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.